Hello and welcome to Indigenuity, a show for everyone by Blackfellas. With topics ranging from the serious to the comical, from the outrageous to the mundane. The deadliest to the most budgel, there is nothing gammon about this show. We are the real deal. No lying politicians allowed, no racism either. This is the show you've been waiting for. The name Indigenuity, as it suggests, is a combination of the words Indigenous and Ingenuity. On tonight's show, William Barton in the Tourist Song Company, Jack Thompson, and Nui Cooking with Wogwin Savage. We've also got the National Indigenous Music Awards, cinematographer Alan Collins, and we'll talk politics and much, much more. So stick around and don't touch that remote control. Coming to you from the top end, this, this is, is Indigenuity. Indigenuity. So TJ, do you know what the oldest musical instrument on planet Earth is? Yeah, that's easy. It's the triangle. It's a wind instrument. Oh, is it the wind chime? TJ, it's the didgeridoo. Oh. We recently caught up with the very talented Mr. William Barton in Bachelor Northern Territory during his Kalkadunga tour. Take a look. teacher and my mentor for the didgeridoo was my uncle, Uncle Arthur Peterson. And uh, he taught me at an early age. And what I really enjoyed about learning about the instrument was that it was a story storytelling instrument and how you could adapt to different environments, whether that be in Australia or overseas. So I used to practice about eight hours a day until my lungs were sore and heart was sore, my body was sore. Uh, and when my uncle passed away, uh, they normally break up the did you do and bury it, but um, in this case they passed on his, his did you do to me from his side of the family, which was a big honour. So I've got that back in Mount Isa. We've uh, uh, sort of quite deliberately wanted to wanted to blend, in a sense, the ancient traditions that William carries with him, mm. uh, the traditions of a very ancient culture and the stories and so on, but also perhaps the very ancient sounds yeah. of, of our culture, talking about my own culture now, you know. Now inspiration comes from somewhere and mm. it comes from, well, for me, it, it's uh, my family, mm and where I come from and where I've been and where I'm going. Mm. And so this um, collaboration, you know, is very, very uh, important uh, as a living musician and composer mm. where you constantly create music, where it's not just something that has been created many thousands of years ago mm. or, um, you know, back in the day. It's, it's something that's sustained and it's a sustainable future for, yeah. for both all, all of us as artists yeah. as well as co-collaborators, so we create a language. So this next piece is called Ukadanji Majumba, and it's about the three different kangaroos coming down to the waterhole, coming for a drink and a feed on the grass and whatever else they can find, and um, keeping their eyes out and their ears out um, and the tail out for the hunter. Otherwise, they might get speared. You know what? I think I could play a didge even better than William Barton. Well, you should give us a demo then. <laughs> Well, that was a good attempt, but moving on. Fine, I'll go practice. 
Well, it's raw but edited. It's bash but wise. Favourite family recipes picked out by the presenter Wogwan Savage from Aboriginal Torres Strait Island and South Sea Island descent will cook us a tasty feed. So sit back and enjoy the new air cooking adventures. You're with Wogwan Savage on the new air cooking adventures. So, um, we're going to be cooking barramundi today and um, a bit of namas and a bit of lemongrass rice. So uh, join us today, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of this land, past and present, and um, just stay with us. Being of Tor Torres Strait uh, Island descent, uh, we took a lot of uh, Malay foods into our homes and houses and guts. So um, this is a, a basic, this is cooking rural, rural fish, just in uh, vinegar. I'm just going to show you the basic stuff. I'm not a chef or anything. I've just been brought up cooking, been taught from my grandmothers and mothers and aunties and uncles um, how to do this stuff. These can go from, I like them about four hours. Let them sit for four hours, but they're, they're ready in an hour. So you like to eat it straight away. So that's why it's a very basic and as you can see, very healthy dish because you're eating fish. And the other little secret is the mushroom soya sauce. It's a new one. I only picked it up while I was here. So if you want to try it out, try it out. If you don't, well, there you go. And that's it. That's namas. Barramundi today. Um, there's a lot of ways of doing barramundi. It's uh, one of my favourite fish, um, along with the uh, whiting that you catch on the coast, the salt water, you know. It's going to be a very on oniony dish, the zesty one, because I like onions, I like the garlic, so lemons. We're going to be putting all this in, wrapping it up in uh, banana leaf and uh, alfoil just to protect the uh, meat. Did I mention that I'm not a chef? Okay, this is all wrapped up. Banana leaf, alfoil, had the oil dropped on it and everything. It's ready to go into the fire. Right here, we've got the barramundi wrapped up. It's underneath the coals, as you can see, just see it in there. So it's hot enough. This is, um, it was been burning for a good uh, couple of hours here now. And you see I'm sweating already from it. So um, it's a nice hot fire and that's what you need to cook any kind of food. Well, I'm gonna set it there for about 10, 15 minutes. There we go. Get the lemongrass rice and your numbers. <laughs> As you see, we just um, hammered it, hammered the feed. It was beautiful. I'm sitting with a couple of my friends here around the lovely Kumali Creek. How was it? Me too, I don't mind it myself. So we're just going to sit back. Great place, great food, great people. So just join us next time on uh, New Air Cooking Adventures. See ya! You are! Oh, I love that day. It was such a deadly feed. And I had a good swim too. While TJ's out practicing, which could take a while, let's catch up with a renowned Australian actor, Jack Thompson, who was recently in Darwin for his one man show during the Darwin Festival. William Chambers caught up with Jack, who was known and worked with Aboriginal people since his childhood and is considered an elder in the top end communities. In his homeland communities, you know, considered an elder by Aboriginal people. How do you feel about being considered an elder being? Uh, I, I'm absolutely honoured to be considered an elder. Uh, I know what it means. It means that you're respected. It means that you're considered to uh, be of like mind and of like spirit, and I feel that I am. Uh, I was made uh, a brother uh, to uh, Mandawai and Garawai in Apingu uh, over there um, at uh, Nonboy uh, at the 
Garma Festival, the second Garma Festival, I was there and uh, there was a part of the forum that was a debate about the uh, teaching, uh, two-way teaching, teaching in uh, the uh, first language, uh, Yongu, and uh, teaching English as a second language, maybe even a third, since uh, a lot of the Yongu people speak more than one language. And uh, uh, there was an effort at the time on the part of the administration to get rid of that system, which in fact uh, Mundawoy had established because he was a teacher. And uh, I spoke pretty strongly against that. And uh, that, uh, so Munda said, uh, you know, if we got some press in, would you uh, say so to the press? And I said, I'd be only too happy to. And then I got abused. Uh, I got uh, threatening phone calls and uh, so we know what would an actor from Sydney know about the bush and about the territory and he's got no idea what he's talking about. But of course, um, as you know, I've spent a long time uh, in the territory and associated particularly with uh, Aboriginal people. So the, at the end of the, the uh, Gama Festival, they called me over uh, and uh, he and, and uh, Gullawoy and a couple of the elders, the older men called me over and they said that they wanted to um, make me a member of the Gama Council, the only non-Indigenous member of the Gama Council, and that they wanted to make me a brother to them, part of the Gumach clan. And, and my name is uh, Gulkula, uh, to the Yolngu, um, and Gulkula is the name of the site where the Gama Festival is held, so it's a place name, really. I oh, came away uh, having been made Gulkula, I said, you know, that's a real honour, Mundaway, thank you. And he said, uh, no problem, Jack, he said, that's good. And I said, but I'm awake up to you, mate. It's a job too, isn't it? <laughs> and he so said, have, yo, <laughs> you have, um, I have a responsibility. responsibility. Yeah, you do. Uh, yeah, and I think that as an elder, you have that responsibility. Yeah. And so uh, I'm an elder and that gives me a responsibility. Uh, so I'm very happy. I'm honoured yeah. to be an elder. To be an honour, yeah. 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 How did you go, TJ? I think I've improved. <laughs> um, all I can say is that luckily you weren't headlining the National Indigenous Music Awards. Are you kidding? I would have fit in well with Dan Sultan, Coloured Stone and Morompi Band. Not to mention no fixed address, Andy wants your band. Check it out. particularly to hear the Warumpi band and um, no fixed address. Yeah, I love Dan Sultan, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm a bit of a Dan Sultan fan, so I've come to Yeah, yeah we've definitely come to see him, he's gorgeous. Oh, I think it'd be good to see Dan Sultan. Mm, well, there's the old rock legends, Coloured Stone, no fixed address. No, not really, just love the Indigenous music. All of them, um, especially um, Dan. <laughs> Time for a very special performance. The annual song people sessions with Shelley Morris. Barclay Regional, Barclay Regional Arts and the Winunja Curry Music Centre present Yanua Song People Sessions with Shelley Morris performing tracks from the upcoming release. Together we're strong. Ngambala Wiji Li Unung. Never done that before, so we're very glad and happy for our own song and language and our country. You know, it's, our band been very successful, travelling around, tours, gigs, interviews. Wasn't expecting that coming from the lands. One of the remote communities too. It's amazing. I always feel great when, when, I'm, you know, when I'm performing. Doesn't matter where I'm performing in Australia.